Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man, apparently we have got uh, gotten a secret patch. I keep hearing about some secret patch, cause, cause you know they can move the sliders a little bit. But anywho, before we get into that, y'all make sure y'all like up the video, it's free, it requires little effort. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, turn on them goddamn post notices. It's supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be your moment This supposed to be your moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it So there's a huge debate if um 2K should pack the game And for some reason there's this huge narrative to never patch the game <laughs> because it's gonna break something and apparently when 2k first releases it's just perfect um i don't know why everyone thinks this you probably think this but um this isn't the case people don't know the meta people don't have the best builds people don't have all their badges so of course you're gonna think you know when the game first comes out that it's so amazing and cool but people ain't got in a bag yet. Now, let's have a look-see of this. This is an example of Unpluckable, right? They've already done so much to try to nerf guards to the dirt, you know, the skilled position. <laughs> let, 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 let's have a look-see. Let's look at this, bro. Let's really analyze this. Look at this, grabs the ball, he's in takeover. So his stats are boosted even more than usual. He is playing, I think, on the 10K court, so he is not a bot random. This means he is better than 99.9% .9 of the 2K community, even just because he's on this court in general. Okay, so this guy is spamming square behind. You can see. Gets this steal. Okay. Okay. Gets that steal, okay then, bump steals it. Ain't, ain't really too much. Ain't really too much, hold on. Let me turn this shit down. I'm trying to copyright my shit. Look at this, everyone's just spamming square, hold on. <laughs> Niggas in takeover, keep him, keep him, you know? Hold on, hold on. Damn, <laughs> damn. <laughs> so I mean, this is just like I don't, I don't know, bro. I mean, y'all, y'all can say eh, this is nothing, but a lot of people are posting clips like this, bro. You know, like people are. I think, I think in general, most people aren't feeling what Hall of Fame glove is like because y'all are like playing bots. Y'all have to understand, it takes a while to get a tier three badge and then like like get that hoe. So like y'all probably aren't facing it. So you don't know the true attributes of this badge. And no one's saying to nerf, uh, no one's saying to nerf lane steals. Just the on ball steals seem kind of ridiculous that a bot can just come up to me and RNG and press square and rip me without bumping me, without me being low in stamina, just nothing. I mean, that's just, it's dumb to me, man. I don't know. But I know most people aren't guards, so y'all want shit like this. I I feel you, bro, but y'all, y'all, y'all gotta be more empathetic, nigga. Shit weird. <laughs> Look at this. Look, people don't even play defense, bro. They just come up to you and press square. <laughs> so you just have to just run from people and like never do a dribble move. Like you're just running from people. That's crazy, bro. This shit football, nigga. Look at this shit. Like, bro, this nigga not in takeover or nothing. This nigga's in takeover. Look at this. What the fuck? This is like all back to back, bro. Like how many steel? Man, that shit is crazy. I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that.
So, I mean, here's another narrative that people are saying that is not correct. And I know most of y'all probably agree with this, but hear me out, bro. Nigga says, I mean, it's a lock with a 99 steal. What the fuck you think he's supposed to do? Not get steals? And then, listen, listen, guys. Y'all y'all keep saying everyone has 80-something ball handle. Bro, all these other 2Ks have, have existed, bro. When we've had 99 ball handle and the, the steals were ridiculous and unpluckable didn't work on Hall of Fame with 99 ball handle in takeover, they could just come press square and rip you, even with like low steal, all types of shit. We've been through this, guys. But I mean, bro, come on, nigga. Is, is when you tap square, when you have a 99-3, does that bitch just go automatically in? You feel me? Is that is that the type of game y'all niggas want? Like, no type of timing? No type of, uh, bump the nigga? Y'all just want, oh, I got a 99 still, let me go up. Ugh, like, y'all want that shit? Come on, bro. I know it might be tough for y'all niggas out there, and you, you tired of getting cooked all these years, but come on, nigga. Come on, bruh. Like, shit getting pathetic. Y'all, y'all got, y'all got to get it together, nigga. Tighten up, bro. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about steals and unpluckable and glove, etc. Now, Young Flexin tweets out, they out here having a motherfucking reach off competition mid game. And y'all think steals are okay? Hall of Fame unpluckable, by the way. Look at this. He has Hall of Fame unpluckable. Young flexing. Young flexing. Look at this. Look at this. You think that nigga really has Hall? Look, this nigga's in takeover, guys. I'm sure there's way more clips, bruh. I, I damn near broke my controller playing some shit, bruh, earlier. This nigga's in takeover. Off of first reach, he rips him, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Look at this shit. Nigga hit square again. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he was bringing that bitch to him, but... Nah, nah. He, he was taking that bitch from him no matter what. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. It's looking kind of weird, nigga. Look at this. Look at this. This nigga hit square. Get that bitch first rip. What the fuck? Y'all think this shit cool? What the? The nigga almost ripped him again. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> nigga. Bro. Do y'all be playing defense tapping square? Like, is there any point to even try to body up niggas? Like, bruh, 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 bruh. That shit look crazy, bro. Unpluckable does not work at all. These steals need to be nerfed. <laughs> oh, shit. So look, man, 2K put this picture out. Now, y'all let me know if this is actually in the theater right now. Look at this. NBA 2K15 3v3, OG rules game to 15 by ones and twos. Now look, I find this so funny, man. People who uh, bash 2K15 so much, even though it was one of the best 2Ks ever before patch four. Everything they love about 2K23 was like 2K15. The big builds running the game, being able to do everything. Um, Even though the stats might've been crazier then, um, the actual ability to do it in 23 is much easier and at a way higher efficient rate. So, um, in 23, bro, you could have a big build, guard your own ball, right? You could shoot miraculous. You could dunk miraculous, contact dunk miraculous. You could play make miraculously do all the dribble moves and you had immaculate defense and high speeds. Everything that y'all love about 2K23. But y'all bash 15 just cause niggas be like, hey, you wasn't you wasn't out there in the OG days, nigga, when we was going to 15 by ones and twos, nigga. <laughs> and then they all that they just keep hating on it, like saying things that are false about the game and stuff. Like, shut your goofy ass up, nigga. How y'all niggas hate on a game that's like 10 years old? It's so weird. <laughs> like, are you traumatized? <laughs> are you traumatized? But um, 
Yeah, bro. Uh, I don't know if they actually brought back the 2K15 courts, but we've been begging, especially me. I don't know. Maybe I started the trend. I started a lot of trends that I'm not credited for. But um, in the theater, like, what if they always switch the park into some, like, OG shit or some super new shit? That would be super clean, man. Like, have the theater where it shows a 15 park and you, you, you score them by ones and twos and shit? Y'all can't. Would that be lit to y'all? That'd be stupid lit to me. And then they got a uh, 3v3 squads only. Prove yourself with the players 75 or below. This is this is cool too. Losers out um in the theater. I've never been to the theater. Maybe you get to select between these uh four modes. Um no squads. That's this is dope. I wish there was a losers out in the actual park. Like I think it should be split half and half. But you know the community is bots. Um. And, and one free throws enabled like this is dope see y'all as viewers y'all complain about people's content so much but that's the only shit you click like if if creators could go and play these events and like pull views you would get much better content bro but y'all niggas click on the typical build shit demigod build shit that's what y'all click on so y'all are creating that environment it's not the creator y'all niggas dictate it y'all gotta police yourselves before you try to police the creators man just food for thought my nigga um wreck two times xp y'all better get up in there i don't know how long these shits last how long these hoes last and some power up event i don't know what this is about talk to me uh oh oh live now 15 ones and twos okay y'all y'all let me know how y'all feel about this go play this hoe put me on now here is the logo show man um who the niggas who got the logos fuck the logo fuck everyone who got a logo um fuck the whole logo team and, and fuck the establishment and the organization my nigga uh i personally know 17 of these people i think y'all let me know down below how many people you know and um whoever knows the most uh gets a money sign uh from me a money sign dm from me on twitter <laughs> so look as you can see they did some new things with the logo man y'all think this is gonna make people want to close their mouths more uncle demi posted this you know they got the 2k logo there it'd have been better if it was like under the feet uh they also got it in the squad up stuff now and they also have it in the scoreboard and they have it above your head guys so this nigga tweeted out baluba yo dumbass patch lock steals yo dumbass patch lock steals didn't you your game is fucking trash and you are miserable this is hilarious to me i love when people show genuine emotion and feelings about something you know a lot of people think probably a youtuber uh getting youtube this nigga into thinking this but they don't realize that people have been feeling about this with 2k before the twitter even became a thing bro like these are genuine emotions from people not no youtuber genjutsuing them nigga like y'all niggas are crazy but um, I found this shit hilarious. He's saying a secret patch come out. If y'all didn't know, 2K can now adjust things without dropping a patch, like the sliders for shit. So y'all let me know if y'all noticed uh, not being able to uh, get ripped as much. And then this guy says, I've seen locks getting less steals with takeover. And nigga says, bro, I knew I wasn't bugging. Said, bro, this nigga Baluba be sending out random patches and don't be wanting to say what he patched. Now, Chalk tweeted this out. Nothing needs to be patched in NBA 2K23. Agree or disagree? I disagree. Things do need to be patched. There is a misconception in this weird ass community that the game comes out perfect and that's just the best it's been. Like every time when that's not really the case, things always need to be patched in a video game especially gameplay related bro um i think what people are realizing is people start to find the best builds the best badges the best jump shots the best sigs the meta and then at that moment when everyone finds it and it's it's a bigger majority that's when things gotta be tweaked because if you just leave if you're so scared to touch and ch tweak your game just because you're a shit dev like what what are, what are we really doing bro what 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 are we really doing man we gotta demand more from 2k it should not just be to where a nigga with the 21 percent can come up and rip a 97 win percent by tapping square by not ever bumping you 
not playing no good defense, just straight RNG and ripping you. Y'all say y'all want a realistic game, but there's nothing real about that, bro. Um, I don't know, like y'all niggas, y'all already got super slow gameplay. Y'all already got the adrenaline attached. Y'all got the super slow stamina. Now you want it to where niggas can just come up to you and tap square. Like, come on. At, at some point, it has to be a skill issue, bro. It, <laughs> it, it like, bro, y'all, 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 y'all gotta. I know y'all not like tryhards or whatever, but it has to be a skill issue at some point, bro. At some point, man. It ain't the dribbling forever that that does anything because if y'all didn't know, the more you dribble, the harder it is to make your shot, bro. The, the, the top people, they do quick moves, quick kills type shit. Um, the extra dribbling actually helps y'all on defense, but y'all don't even know that. But um, it, it seems like content creators and the community, most of the community, they love plucks, right? Just stupid high plucks. And of course, Interceptor needs to be amazing. No, people are talking about on-ball steals, bro. Um, it seems like the no skill people in a way i don't know but um it seemed like the league players and top players they not really fucking with this game at all because they're playing elite locks with the glove maxed out i think a lot of people aren't playing people with a glove maxed out so you don't truly know how toxic it can be right anywho dime says you know he's a league player he says really no not for real but if anything plucks plucks are pretty bad now dimes uh most top players they're they're not saying like nothing should be patched a lot of people they want a lot of patches man um from what i've seen um but he said plucks are pretty bad and in my opinion the adrenaline boost was half instead of a bursting costing a whole bar that fixed so much so instead of three moves you get six also anything off ball you shouldn't lose the boost dexing slips etc this is true bro um y'all are crazy like they, let me let me uh entertain your mind for a second if they really implemented defense if we really demanded more which we don't if they really implemented defense would you need these restrictions these uh stamina would you even need stamina if they could truly implement defense like in past 2ks like 16 and uh 15 and you know where you could actually on ball guard a nigga i mean the thing with the 15 on ball was you couldn't rip niggas right but you could like keep up with niggas bro you really could but um y'all have to understand when they make a system they keep building upon it they would have to scratch everything to even fix that shit and they don't want to bro so what they do is they nerf the offense and y'all are accepting that just because you don't play skilled positions or skilled players it's it's kind of ridiculous y'all have to I don't, I don't know, bro, but um, I know I'm going against the grain because everyone wants 2K to be so easy, but y'all are tripping, nigga. But yeah, if the defense was so great, if there's such an improvement, why would the game speed need to be slower? Why would there need to be adrenaline boost and stamina just to try to nerf the offense? Think about it. That defense really not there, buddy. <laughs> But you, you could tell, like, when y'all listen to creators or top players, apparently, when, when they say they put defense in this game, you can, auto, you can automatically tell they don't know what they're talking about when it comes to 2K because a smart guy would realize they just nerfed the offense to make the illusion that there is defense in the game. But, hey, I mean, anywho, and I'm not a component of last left, right, bro. I, I just, you know, yeah. I like a realistic game, not the illusion of a realistic game, bro. Anywho, Cash says, stop complaining about steals. Y'all just want y'all cake and eat it too. Nigga, the niggas got nerf. What you talking about, Cash? Then he says, if you don't have Hall of Fame unpluckable, stop crying. Cash, niggas have Hall of Fame unpluckable and they still getting ripped. Then he said, and learn how to dribble the ball correctly. This nigga Cash talking crazy, nigga. This nigga says... This the most I seen Cash Nasty tweet about 2K. 23 in shambles got Cash Nasty looking tough on lock. That says a lot. Says a lot. Forcing PGs to actually pass and it's beautiful. Um, th this whole thing right here, this this isn't like true, bro. People are just gonna find the exploits and exploit them quicker and faster, bro. Y'all think niggas are gonna? 
do y'all really think people should have a game where people shouldn't actually do dribble moves in street ball? Like, like no combos, nothing, just running away from the lock. Like, literally, that's, bro, that's not basketball. That's not who y'all's favorite player plays like, you know? I know, like, since people lack skill, they don't want something of a player that they idolize. That's so weird. But uh, people should be able to dribble and score. That's what brought basketball so much attention, not running away from defenders like this is fucking football, nigga. Like, <laughs> what is going on, nigga? This nigga says domino effect of adrenaline boost, which affect ball protection equal more on ball steals uh people learned how to uh dribble with never losing adrenaline boost so this isn't true um more team basketball and passing uh people will probably end up not doing it more because y'all will see how people will play uh the good high iq players will adapt most pgs in 2k are used to holding the ball forever not this year the user error has been ruled out uh, I think this is more propaganda, bro. People are still going to be playing the same way because it's just more efficient, man. I mean, just just think about it, for instance, guys. Like, really think about it. Once people start to... Look, I'm finna put y'all on. Locks and most centers don't have unpluckable, right? Once people start to figure out, let's press square on them niggas too, not just the PGs, then you're going to see the community go in an uproar because them niggas is going to get ripped stupid crazy. You feel me? So it's going to affect more people. People just ain't figured it out. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. But, I mean, it is what it is. The reason the PGs was OP wasn't because of not really being able to be ripped. Because people could be blitzed. You could always get those side steals, which was kind of a skill gap in a way. But um, the real thing was the defense not being able to keep up and you not getting bumps. And you not being rewarded for a steal is kind of at the end. But if you could bump niggas and keep up with them, that is the true. That is the true thing, bro. That really mess it up. And the fact that they can make so much contested shots, and that they could fade so efficiently, that's why. If you cut that in half, and you kept that same movement, PGs would be nerfed by like thirty percent. If the shooting was so easy, but they keep the shooting so easy for the casuals. Trying to let y'all know. Young G-Man said, I, I feel like chewing on a fucking brick every time I verse someone rim running. Now, I know G-Man, and he ha hates being ripped, man. He's probably waiting for the clear to the community to start complaining about it, man. But um, every time I see someone rim running, this nigga says, nigga, you was rim running against me. This nigga says, until they patch steals, I can't even dribble if I want it. How am I supposed to know who gonna reach or not? I'd love to just dribble around with folks, but it ain't that no more. So what do y'all, uh, he's basically saying he don't fuck with this shit. So y'all are going to create a game where people just have to run away from the defender and uh, have like a 99 dunk and just like abuse that feature or like act like they're gonna run and you know step back like then y'all are complaining about that <laughs> or just post score or just run and fade like they're gonna do more toxic stuff that's actually more effective I'm trying to tell y'all that dribbling shit actually helps you Nick you know it, it helps when a nigga tries to be flashy it puts you at an advantage but <laughs> niggas gonna get straight to it and you gonna really feel it <laughs> anywho man y'all let me know how y'all feel about all of this make sure you uh drop a like subscribe make sure y'all follow me on twitch link is in the description y'all make sure y'all um become a member to the youtube channel it's the join button right next to the sub or it is in the description a link and um if you become a member you can uh get on my friends list 1v1 me play other games with me or just support your boy for being real nigga because a nigga blackballed in this hoe anywho watch one of these two videos man but hey hey here we go again yeah here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo
Off the top of the dome, dome.